Hey all here at OS Reviews, you're watching our hands-on review of the Instabox i30. This is a Bluetooth speaker and radio that you can find for under $40. The company Instabox specializes in these kind of retro-style radios that uh, combines an interesting wooden look also with newer features like Bluetooth connectivity, for instance, but they don't also have additional features like Wi-Fi. So it's not an internet radio, although it has FM and AM channels that you can use to tune and select. So this is what the packaging is like. It's pretty simple. I'll leave some links in the description below. It's a very interesting looking box. We have the Instabox logo again on the inside of the flap, and we also have a instruction manual. You can see there's an OLED screen on the front, and we also have the micro USB power cable in addition to an auxiliary cable for plugging in a phone or device that doesn't have wireless Bluetooth. We also have an IR remote that allows us to quickly play and pause the music, set up things like alarms, uh, as well as turn the display on and off. And inside here we just have the i30 itself. So it's actually a lot smaller than the packaging makes it seem. It it's a lot similar in size to an actual alarm clock that you may have already in your house, so it doesn't take up that much space on a desk, but you can see how the edges here are indeed made out of wood, so it has a more premium look than the price would suggest. The faceplate here is made out of plastic though and not aluminum. We also have a microphone, so if you have it connected to a smartphone like iOS or Android, you can also use it to answer and receive phone calls, which is pretty cool. And here's the IR receiver for the remote. On the top we have the stereo speakers, left and right channels, we also have an over oversized snooze key for the alarms, uh, which also doubles as skip track controls if you press it on the sides to go between different tracks on the radio or on a memory card that you can insert. There's also the alarm that you can set, mode selection, play pause, and information for the radio station as you are uh, checking it out. And on the back we have the radio antenna, which can be fully extended if you want to get slightly better reception. And this is also where we have a full-size USB port if you plug in a thumb drive that's loaded with MP3 it will play it back as well. This is the auxiliary port for wired 3.5mm, there's also a micro SD card and the power port. On the bottom we just have rubber feet that prevents the Instabox from sliding around on a surface or a desk. We've plugged into power and there are a few observations to be made. First of all, there is a built-in battery on this, so you can use it just like a regular Bluetooth speaker. You can charge it, it takes about two hours to complete, and there's a small battery status on the top right-hand corner of the display here. And once you unplug it, it can be used as a regular speaker for about six hours continuously before you need to recharge it again. So that's actually a pretty cool feature. There's a small LED light that tells you the charging status, and when it's complete, it will turn green, but I can also unplug it now, and you can see it's still turned on without any issues. It allows us to also change things like turning the unit on or off. I can also go through different selection modes. Right now Bluetooth is turned on as you can see here, so I can connect to it using my phone or computer to stream music. I can also change it to radio mode if I wanted to do that. And over here I can set a sleep timer, so if you tap on this for a few times for a few times, you can toggle between 15, 30, 45, 60, and 90 minutes. So you can sleep for this long and then the alarm will turn on and ring. In the radio mode, which we can access by tapping on the source key, uh, we are able to shuffle between different uh, stations by tapping on the left and right keys or using the skip track controls. You can also long hold for it to find a stronger uh, signal and it will stop at that station. You can also favor different stations and it will remember it for the next time. Overall 
audio quality is strong. In fact, it took me by surprise. Because it's marketed mostly as an radio alarm clock, I thought that it would be more, more of a gimmick when it comes to the sound, but I was definitely wrong. Mostly because it packs a huge punch in the lower frequencies, as you heard in that sample track. The entire bottom of the speaker rattles and shakes almost the entire surface of the table just because of this large passive radiator hidden way in the bottom half of the entire box. Uh, the sound in terms of the mids and highs are good, but it's nowhere near as impressive as a bass, which is really shocking just because on such a small unit, I didn't expect it to be that powerful. Otherwise, the radio functionality also, of course, works pretty well. In the Seattle region, I consistently got a handful of stations that were clean without too much static or distortion, so it works well for those purposes. Uh, in the Bluetooth mode, I also will say that there's almost no static at all. So right now the music is paused, and if you listen very closely, there's absolutely no hissing in the background, which is actually very common in Bluetooth speakers and headphones. Now, because the audio quality really is so good, I do wish there were a few additional features that Instabox could have built in, just because all of their models that I've checked out on their website seems to be restricted just to Bluetooth playback. It would be nice if there was a version with Wi-Fi for internet radio uh, services, just because that would also take advantage of the excellent speakers on board. I also hope that maybe in the future they could build a version with wireless charging, additional features for your smartphone. Right now though, if you do plan on putting the phone on top of the Instabox, I will cover up the speakers and slightly muffle or distort the sound, so that's something to keep note of. Um, if you are tight on space, this is uh, one potential downside, but otherwise it works very well when it comes to both the radio as well as the Bluetooth playback of the speakers. So that's more or less it as far as our hands-on review of the Instabox i30 is concerned. If you're looking for a retro-styled uh, Bluetooth radio, also speaker, uh, this is definitely something that's worth taking a closer look at just because the audio quality is a lot stronger than I, what I was expecting. It also has a pretty authentic look that seems more expensive than the price would really suggest, and uh, overall it makes for a good companion to a bedside table if you are looking for an upgrade to a regular alarm clock. Thanks for watching this video here at OS Reviews, this has been the Instabox i30.